Greetings, beloved. Welcome to Narrowgate Channel. Another beautiful day our Father God has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I welcome those who just joined Narrowgate Channel. Let us learn together. It's Operation Give Jesus Your 100%. 2022 is no retreat, no surrender. We are fighting forward, beloved. As Jiki Aruhumeli Moraho, Christ ahead of us, the world behind us. He's teaching us how to live as his disciples. Holiness that pleases him. He his standard, not our standard. May his name be glorified. We serve a king, beloved, the great I am, powerful God, the one and only risen king. In him I hid all the treasures of knowledge and wisdom. The honors lies on us, beloved, as individuals. Are we going to hear and heed his warnings and embrace his love as he's preparing us for his kingdom, ushering us to his kingdom? Glory to his precious name, hallelujah. We continue, beloved. Today I'm going to share about the location, the true location of Israel. I have uploaded a video, beloved, previously that our father revealed that the current Israel that we know geographically, it is not true Israel that is written in the word of God. And I have mentioned, beloved, that we're going to be going deep into prophecies. It's important for us to understand. And I'm one of those people, beloved, that previously it did not matter whether Israel is true Israel or not. It did not matter to me because my understanding was that, you know, we're going to all go to heaven. All these things does not matter. That is why, beloved, it is important for us to understand prophecies. Our Father is teaching us because of all the teachings that we had in the past. That's why to others, they think it's, it's irrelevant. What does it matter if the Israel that we know now is not true Israel that is in the word of God? And I used to think that it only brings division to the saints because I lacked understanding, beloved. For us to understand the word of God, our father has to first correct all the lies that we have been taught over the years. Because we know that the enemy has deceived the world, beloved. Even with the Bible, when we are reading, because most of the prophecies written in the Old Testament, we just thought it is for Israel. You know, it has nothing to do with us. The word of God tells us in the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 9, that those who call themselves Jews, they are the synagogue of Satan. They are not the Jews. And the Father is revealing, beloved. The true Jews, praise the name of the Lord. So please let us sit back and learn. Let us not allow emotions. Some people, they will bring, you know, all the information that they have been taught by men. What I'm sharing here, it is not my knowledge. Like I said previously to me, it did not matter at all. It is what our father is revealing and he is teaching us. And this information during our 21 days, our father revealed to others as well. You know, when you go into the Old Testament, the word of God talks about gathering of Israel. Have you ever asked your question, when is that going to happen? That's why I said the enemy succeeded to deceive us by us disregarding the Old Testament, thinking we have done away with everything. But Jesus told us, beloved, that he did not come to abolish the law or the prophets. He has come to fulfill it. And he told us that everything has to be fulfilled. Everything, all the prophecies. And now he's taking us back to those prophecies, beloved, so that we understand the word of God. That is why many people, they will be fighting the messages, beloved, because many scriptures we did not understand. Praise the name of the Lord. I have shared and touched 
in one of the videos when I was sharing about the gathering of Israel. And this is where we must understand that it is important, beloved, for us to understand these prophecies. That is why Father now is revealing that we do not have to focus on the Israel that is there now. It is not the true Israel that he wrote in the word of God. I want to read the word of God from Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 64. It says, And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone. This was Moses telling the children of Israel, should they rebel against God, this will be the consequences. And we know, beloved, that they rebelled and God scattered them. Praise the name of the Lord. So we know, beloved, that the Israel that is there now, it is not true Israel. Our father has revealed that. And I have shared that the true Israel is in Africa. And I remember one of our brothers, Brother Maynard and Sister Hunty Valley, they shared that Father revealed to them that true Israel is in South Africa. And it is true right from the time of New Jerusalem. When our Father revealed, he told me that it's in South Africa, specifically even the province in South Africa. So again, he is confirming that South Africa is a holy land. It is true Israel, beloved. Whether we believe it or not, whether we can fight it or not, many people, they will share what they have heard. They will share what they have read, somebody's information or research. We were not there, beloved. God has a final say. Let us sit and learn. South Africa is a holy land, beloved. And like I said, during our 21 days, Father revealed to other brethren as well. And they can testify through the comment section. Jesus was born in South Africa. He was crucified in South Africa. And the new Jerusalem will be in South Africa. South Africa is a holy land, beloved. And our father is sharing this information so that we will understand prophecies better. Praise the name of the Lord. And I will go again. I just read for you Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 64 about the scattering of the children of Israel due to disobedience. Praise the name of the Lord. And I want to read again from the book of Ezekiel chapter 36. I will read from verse 24 to 28. Just to show you, beloved, that there are lots of prophecies that are yet to be fulfilled. I have shared in the video of uh, New Jerusalem part one, the millennium reign of our Lord Jesus Christ, that going to heaven will be after the millennium reign. That is why many people are protesting, bringing scriptures, because we lack understanding. I want to read Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 24. The word of God says, For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. I have read from Deuteronomy 28 because we know children of Israel, they rebelled. And according to the law, God said he will scatter them. So we are seeing here, prophet Ezekiel is prophesying that God is saying he will gather them out of all the countries and will bring them into their own land. Then I will sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols and I will cleanse you. A new heart also I will give you and a new spirit will I put within you and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statues and he shall keep my judgment and do them. 
and ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. And I will also save you from all your uncleanness, and I will call you for the corn, and I will increase it, and lay no famine upon you. And I will multiply the fruit of the tree and increase of the field, and ye shall receive no more reproach of famine among the heathen. Praise the name of the Lord. And we know, beloved, that this gathering hasn't taken place as yet. So if we believe that we are going to heaven, when will this prophecy be fulfilled? Because God is saying that he will gather his people, and he said he, they will dwell in the land which he has given to their fathers. That promise that he made with Abraham, beloved. God is faithful. That is why he has been teaching us, beloved, right from the laws. We need to understand. The Old Testament is very much part of the uh, end times, beloved. It is part of the gathering. It is part of the millennium reign. Praise the name of the Lord. These prophecies haven't been fulfilled. And again, I will read from the book of Zechariah chapter 8. I will read verse 7. The word of God says, Thus said the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will save my people from the east country and from the west country. And I will bring them, and they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and they shall be my people. And I will be their God in truth and in righteousness. Again, we see God saying that he will save his people from his country. He will bring them, and they will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. And they shall be his people, and he will be their God in truth and in righteousness, beloved. They will dwell in Jerusalem, new Jerusalem. He will gather his people from east countries, beloved, where they have been scattered. So it's important, beloved, let us not take it for granted that it does not matter where true Israel is. It matters because we will not be able to understand prophecies. That's why many are confused. Many are lost. All we knew was, yes, we are waiting for rapture. Jesus come and rapture us and we go to heaven. But there are lots of prophecies, beloved, that we still yet to understand. Praise the name of the Lord. So, beloved, the true Israel is in South Africa. South Africa is a holy land. And it is where New Jerusalem will be. And there are lots of scriptures, beloved, that talks about the gathering of Israel. I just shared a few just to help you understand that it's important for us to know the truth. That is when we will understand prophecies. Because everyone is looking at Israel right now, which is not true Israel. And I know there are so many things, people bring so many things that, oh, but River Jordan, all this, all that. But those were things that were brought up by men, beloved. And God is revealing the truth. Praise the name of the Lord. Because Paul told us, beloved, that the mysteries will be revealed in our dispensation in this time. Praise the name of the Lord. All secrets will be revealed. All lies. Our Father is revealing each and every day, beloved. So please, it's important. Let us not go and start research who, find what, where. Beloved, our Father has saved us that stress. That true Israel is in South Africa. That's it, beloved. Beloved. Whether we believe, whether we fight, but for those who are willing to learn, beloved, even when you read the word of God, beloved, when you read the prophecies, you will understand better. 
Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So that's it for this message, beloved. I love you all. Stay blessed as we continue to learn. Bye-bye.